Hi everyone, today we're gonna do some stuff with Git. If you already know Git, well, then probably this is nothing for you. But if you want to know how Git works on the terminal, then it is definitely something for you. I'm diving into the basics, uh, like uh, putting your project on GitHub, on GitLab, on um, Bitbucket. Uh, so if you want to know how it works, uh, this is going to be a series of all the steps to put your project on a Git remote. So keep watching. Let's dive into the code. Welcome everyone, uh, this is the first step of uh, my series about Git. I'm gonna explain how you can work with it, uh, how you can set it up yourself, how you can use GitHub, how you can use Bitbucket or some other service that is hosting a Git solution. Um, so, well, let's start with the beginning. First, you need to install Git. Well, of course, how you can, otherwise there's no way to use it. So go to uh, the, uh, the Git website and it is git-scm.com. I will put a link in the description, of course. And well, I'm on the Mac, so I will have to download uh, Git for the Mac. Uh, but if you are on a uh, Windows machine, you can also download Git from this website and you will see a link from the Windows version. So it doesn't matter if you're on Mac or on Windows or on Linux, you can always use Git. So that's good. Since I've already installed Git, I don't have to do that anymore. So I can check that uh, to open the terminal and you can type in git minus v git dash dash version that's the one so if you well you can see i have a little bit older version on my computer but it's not a problem right now but uh, if there comes a message in your terminal uh, that it cannot find the command you use, then probably uh, it is not installed at the right way or it is not installed anyway. So you have to start with, yeah, have the um, kit on your machine. So um, I've uh, a plan for this video of course so when I look to the right the right well that's for you to the left but for me for the to the right because the camera is mirroring um, well the first step was install git well I've already done it if you have problems with that post in the comments I would love to help you out and well uh, the second step in this video is uh, let's create a um, GitHub repository. We can also create a repo on Bitbucket. I favor GitHub at the moment. Um, it is n most of the time, it is pretty similar to each other. So to create a um, Ripple story, you have to find a name. So let's think of a name. Well, this is going to be a, a Git demo project. And I'm the owner, so and the description, it's optional, so you don't have to do it, but most of the time I'm doing it. So um, 
this is the demo demo project for the kids 101 series by Mr. Frontend. So that's the description. Uh, the nice thing about this is uh, you can choose for public or private if you want to do it private on uh, github you need to pay if you want to have private repositories you can do that for free uh, on bitbucket bitbucket is from atlassian it's also a big and very known company uh, so yeah i don't want to pay for github so i'm gonna choose uh, public uh, we can initialize a readme file well if you gonna put something up on your github or if you're working for a company that is using git then uh, readme is essential so don't forget to do that but uh, you can choose to do it on github but you can also choose to do it on your computer and then commit it and push it to your repository. Well, I'm lazy, so I'm sorry. Uh, I have to, uh, I'm, I'm letting GitHub do it for me. Most of the times projects I'm pushing to GitHub are built with NPM tools. So for that, I'm gonna create a git ignore and git ignore i'm later on i'm gonna go much more detailed into it but the git ignore is uh, you can put all uh, folder paths or files in it that git should ignore so that's very handy on github you can also choose a license well i'm keep it with none so now i'm gonna create this project so uh, to go further you we can have two ways and we can just use the URL and clone it but we can also create a start from scratch on our computer so I'm already in a folder called development where I put all my uh, development uh, create a folder called uh, um, git demo and I'm going into that folder let's clear it so I'm now in the git demo folder and to initialize we have to type in git in it so now you can read from here uh, initialized empty git repository well in this folder so uh, we can yeah put here our all our folders in but back from to where i created the github uh, project let's go a little bit a uh, level higher and just clone it because it's very uh, a very important step to learn with git so to clone this uh, git repo we need to type in the following thing it's called git clone and then the url so then uh, git is gonna create a folder called git dash demo dash project well that's the project uh, url and he's gonna create a folder in the development folder so uh, we have that project cloned on our computer but we can have a next step if you want to have called that have a custom name for that folder you can do that so after the URL, we press space and then we have, we can call it, well, put in the folder name. So we can call it demo, demo git folder. 
So now you can see he is cloning. So, um, well, if you have Git installed and you want to have uh, uh, want to clone a project, well, this is the way to do it. If you want to start from scratch on your computer, you need to uh, do Git init to initialize that empty project. Well, a second or the last step in this video is you have to set up your username and password in order to yeah uh, have the name in a nice way uh, uh, well after here well here is my name and uh, for every commit uh, you, know, you need a username and a password so you can search that uh, well I don't know it from the, my mind but because normally you would set it up once and maybe if you work for two organizations then you have to do it twice but most of the time you do it once so we uh, do a little bit searching git up and username password and set up username in git some noise it can be the rain outside it can be my computer that is probably having a hard time to record this video but doesn't matter so um to register our uh, username, um, you have to type in git config and it is gonna be global. It's because if you leave global, it's gonna put the username and password only for this project. And we want to set it globally. Um, well, you see it git username for every repository and git username for a single repository that's why you need to put in global um, well I've already does this uh, but uh, I guess we can check it git config username and my name is Raymond S and you need so not only username and password but also your email well here you can see it well it's pretty the same so put in git config for the global you need to add global and then username and between quotes you need to put in your email address and well, for the single repo, you need to uh, leave the global. So now the password, I'm putting these links in the description so you can check it. Um, password. Well, this is for, uh, this is the wrong one. That's it was caching. Probably it's gonna be here. Set your username, set your password. Oh yeah. Uh, if you put, uh, if you want to push the first time, and we come later to that, it will ask for your password. And if you, well, you have to type it in. And there is also uh, a possibility to cache it. So you can do it one time and then it will uh, fix it for the rest of your life. Well, that sounds good, right? Uh, but we come later to that. Um, so, I'm just checking my list. Uh, so we checked out how to install Git. Uh, how to create a project locally and remotely 
well, remotely is in this case GitHub or Bitbucket or well maybe someone want to use GitLab it's also possible and the third step is um, we have to set up git well the username the password and the email address so the password is going to be asked the first time when you pushed well that's going to be in the next video so i hope you love this introduction if you didn't well do put a, put a thumbs down if you liked it put a thumbs up and don't forget to to subscribe if you want to see more from me. So hopefully see you next time.